If you're anything like me, you've been in a situation where someone asks you a question and your mind goes blank. But have no fear. Here are 10 phrases that will buy you time to think of what you say or even give the perfect response. Welcome to Zafla Maria. I'm Maria, and this video is going to teach you how to avoid awkward situations by using some simple English phrases that will buy your brain some time so it can catch up with itself when it gets lost in translation. Have you ever been in a conversation and suddenly realized? You don't know how to answer the question. So you either started rambling around, producing weird sounds like um, uh, uh, mm, and waving around with your hands around like a crazy person, and at the same time, blushing and sweating excessively. I am sure you can remember a situation like this. Whether it was during a conversation with native speakers, or during your English class, or during an interview, or in any other situation where you were required to speak in English. If you have an interesting story where your mind went blank and what you did about it, please share it in the comments below. Now, these 10 English phrases will help you buy you some time while you figure out what to say. Whether you're a native speaker or an English language learner, we all get tongue-tied sometimes. So next time you need a little extra time to respond, try one of these phrases. The first one is, honestly, I'm kind of nervous at the moment and my mind just went blank. This phrase shows that you're being honest, but also shows that you're trying to keep a flow in the conversation and come up with an answer. The second one is, that's a very interesting question. Let me think about the best way to answer this for you. This is a very common phrase a native speaker would use. It is a rather long response, so it will give your brain some time to think of an answer. One of my ultimate favorite ways to trick your brain into thinking faster and come up with an answer is to repeat the question you were asked back with your own words. So don't just repeat the question word for word. While you do this, you will naturally begin to think of an answer to the question. Now, I've used this method in many interviews when I couldn't come up with an answer immediately. And it goes like this. So you would want to know an example of, let's say, teamwork, examples of overcoming a certain problem in the company or anything like that. Well, I am thinking of some good ones I can tell you about, but I think the one that is the most relevant is, and then you say the answer. In this phrase, by the time you actually get to the part, but I think the most relevant is, you should already have an answer in mind. The fourth one is, wow, let me think about that. This one is a very common time filler phrase that will help you out to think of an appropriate answer. The fifth one is, honestly, I've never thought about that before. Again, this phrase is an honest answer and it is something a native speaker would usually say when thinking of an answer. The sixth one is, that's a very good question. You know, I was actually thinking about the, this question the other day. This is a great phrase to show an interest in the subject you are having a conversation about and also buy you a good amount of time to come up with the answer. The next phrase is, I'm not sure I understand this question. Would you mind clarifying what you mean by and say that? 
This is a great approach to buy you time to think of an answer and at the same time, ensuring that you understand the question completely. The eighth phrase is, um, I'm not sure. Let me think about that for a second. This hesitation phrase is excellent to give yourself more time to answer a question during a conversation in English. The next phrase is, that's a tough one. I've never been asked that question before, so let me think about that. This is another great phrase to use while you come up with a plan for answering a question. The last phrase for today is an excellent way to avoid answering a question in a polite way. If you don't know how to answer a question or if you simply don't want to give an answer to a certain question, use this phrase and change the subject when you say, what I can do is, and then change the subject, say something else. English phrases that buy you time are handy to know when you don't have an answer for a question right away. By using these phrases, you can avoid giving a direct answer and stall your answer until you come up with something more intelligent to say. These expressions also help show the other person that you are taking their inquiry seriously and that you are considering your response carefully. So the next time someone asks you a question that throws you off guard, try one of these 10 useful English phrases that will buy you some time to answer. Have you ever used these phrases in a conversation? Do you maybe have any other suggestions for buying time to answer? If so, I'm so curious to know, so please share them in the comments below. I genuinely hope you found value in this video. And if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to support me. Until the next video, stay zen and I will see you then. Bye.